Hi, this is Dan Kirsch here, Garfield Physical Education, and uh, Mr. Kirsch's uh, Phys Ed blog. Um, this is a tutorial on a game that I got from PECentral.com uh, that I play with my third, fourth, and fifth grade students. Um, the game is called S Santa's Workshop. Uh, it is a cooperative, challenging game that uh, both my third, fourth, and fifth graders absolutely enjoy. Um, and I, it's a seasonal game, so I play this uh, about around Christmas time. And here's how it works. Um, for starts, in the, the activity, you explain to the students that Santa's elves are on strike, that they are no longer uh, making toys for Santa, and this is why each team has to try and take toys that have already been made by the elves from uh, Santa's workshop. So the way you set up the gym is each one of these, this square here would be a milk crate or any type of laundry basket, as well as this one over here filled with any type of uh, toy that you would want to put in there. I use yarn balls, stuffed animals, um, anything that you can think of uh, to put in there. Now for this tutorial here, I just used these uh, yarn ball examples. I usually put uh, 15 items in each crate, so a total of 30. And then obviously separate your, your class into two teams. So these purple stars is a team and these white stars is a team. Now each one of the this blue area is a jail and then this blue area is also a jail. <clears throat> then I, depending on your gym and your situation, I uh, separate the gym into halves by using poly spots. And I try to use uh, green, red, and stuff like that for holiday colors. But uh, it all depends on what kind of equipment you got. So on the signal, on the signal, each team... Uh, has to each player has to try and attempt to cross to the other team's side without getting tagged uh, by an opponent by either an opponent here and they have to run try and grab one piece of one toy from the crate and bring it back to their team bring it back to their side and put it in their in their crate, in their uh, crate, without getting tagged. That is the object of the game. Now, some rules here, um, and this is kind of up your choice. This is up to you. But for my kids, what I do is, if a player runs across the poly spots, and if this and is tagged by an opponent then they must go to their jail. And that's where they stay. Now, in order to get out of jail, an opponent, uh, one of their teammates has to cross the center line, go give them a high five, and then they both are able to return back to their side. Now, depending on what you prefer, I make sure my students, they must, they must, they must uh, go back to their side before they are able to try and go take one of the toys. Same goes for this purple team. If this student here were to run across, try to go take a toy, and they were tagged by an opponent, then they must go into their jail, which I use as mats. And then one of their teammates has to run across, go save them, and then return back to their side before they can go steal again one of the toys from Santa's workshop. <clears throat> Some other, uh, and this is kind of options for you. You can play it several different ways. For instance, I can have my students run across and if they grab a yarn ball uh, without getting tagged and they get a free back, they can bring their yarn ball all the way back or their toy all the way back to the crate. That's one way of playing it. Whereas with my fifth graders, the way I play it, just to add a little more strategy to the game, they have to run without getting tagged. And let's say they are running and they have their yarn ball 
or their toy in their hand and at this point let's say they were tagged this is the way I play with my fifth graders and that student must return the yarn ball back to the crate and return to jail so that's one way of playing it and I really with my uh, third fourth fifth graders really emphasize strategy um, for instance what if you're gonna be a protector are you gonna protect your toys your workshop are you gonna be a person who's trying to steal are you trying to be a person who goes and gets people out of jail so everybody kind of has a role and um, and before I forget I also give each student on each team a tag stick a small noodle and a, for to maintain safety while we're tagging um, some things to you know safety concerns things to look out for make sure the kids are moving around general space without running into each other and that they're tagging nice and things like that uh, so this is just a quick little tutorial here on a game called Santa's workshop that I hope you guys enjoy and try again I play it third fourth and fifth graders and uh, more information will be on the blog and I will post this on Twitter as well thanks